up, y'all? Lil Tune taking over the Players Tribune. We in LA for All Star Weekend. We had a party right here for the players, so we're gonna drag a few of them in here and just stop them from partying. And we're gonna bug them and ask them a few questions. Might get a little personal, so keep your ears open and your eyes closed. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Oh, you starting right there? Oh, my bad. Yes, Shit. So I'm taking over the Players Tribune. I got my man Kamara right here. How you feel first of all? I'm feeling good, good, good man. man. Yeah, he got, good. excuse me, he need this too? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, my so bad. Good. They just telling me everything. So first of all, I want to ask you how you feel to be real good here. I feel good because, you know, I did it in New Orleans. And it's love in New Orleans, so it was all good. Now, with that said, I didn't see some um, clips of you. In New Orleans, first of all, no security. If you know anything about New Orleans, that was just two strong words just now. In the middle of the street, just catching beads, yeah. throwing beads. I know you're seeing some stuff out there. How you, you really love New Orleans? Yeah, I love New Orleans. Like it's the South in me. Like yeah. you know, just being from Atlanta, yeah. it's kind of like I treat I treat New Orleans like it's Atlanta. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That so that's why you see me around with like no security. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm chilling. Like I'm just embracing the people because yeah. I mean it's, it's love. They respect you that's know. So I, I respect New Orleans. But I, I walk home after every game. I walk straight down Porges. I live right right down the street. So, so after we get off camera, whatever it is, whatever fitness thing you're taking that got you that crazy, I'm gonna need like two, three of them. Yeah. I ain't walking nowhere but to the spot right here. Other than that though, man, for real though, what you, what's your plans for next season for the whole team? Not oh, just you, because we already know what you're yeah. gonna do. Next season, we coming back crazy. You know, the season ain't, ain't like, like how we wanted it to, so. Yeah. You know, we just got to come back stronger. Everybody working hard. That's why, you know, we got the league on notice now. So we got to know, talk on our back. Yeah, mm -hmm. We got to talk on our back. So yeah. we just got to handle our business and exactly. get it done. Now, another thing I heard from my Uncle Deion Sanders, my uncle, y'all, um, he was working with the team. He said he mentioned that he had a close relationship with me. As soon as he mentioned it, he just got bombarded by why Wayne ain't a... Ain't a Saints fan. He said he had to explain to y'all, man. I mean, what, what's going on, bro? I don't know. You, I mean, Wayne need to be on the sideline. Everybody need to be on the sideline at the game. That's your city. You from New Orleans. Yeah, I've man. never been invited to the Saints sideline. I'm not sure if I've even been invited to a game. But I did I, I did bring my mom to the Super Bowl and y'all so I'm gonna handle it. We'll make sure you get get on the mm -hmm. sideline and do all that. Y'all heard it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's word of mouth. <laughs> word is born too, so that's real. I appreciate you stopping by, man. I hope you enjoy yourself, man. Enjoy yourself. Congratulations on your season too, man. You crazy. For real. You crazy, man. For real. You killing it. Keep doing it too, man. Tone, we back. Players Tribune. We have the beautiful Essence Carson from the Sparks here. How do you feel today? Man, I feel great, man. Out here at the Players' House, what better place to be? Sitting next to the little Toonchi. Man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a great feeling. I know you can't wait to get them back. I know you can't. Oh, I know you can't wait to get them back. How you feeling about that? Are we talking about the um, links, y'all, just so y'all know? I feel like we need to really avenge that last loss, mm -hmm. that game five loss, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, that hurt. That hurt a lot. We're, we're gearing up. We're ready. Some people overseas playing right now. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm here training and everything, getting mm -hmm. ready. You're saying it's going to be a good one. We got them on opening night, yeah. so it's going to be a good uh, game on ESPN, uh. man. Make sure y'all tune into that one. Yeah, I'll be watching, just so you know. This is a champion right here. This is a champion 2016 with the Sparks also. When she go overseas, she come back as a champion. She's here right now and she's working out. So I also want to ask you how's Candace doing? That's my homie. <laughs> Candace is good, man. She played in a celebrity yeah, game tonight. You know what I'm saying? I saw I saw her out there doing that thing. I think I saw Quavo knock her down out there. He kind of knocked her down on mistake. Make sure she okay. Nah, she all right. Candace is tough. All right. I'm glad you came through and stopped by and say what's up, man. Oh, man. Thank you for having me. Man, right, thanks for coming through the beautiful essence. What up, y'all? We back. Tonchi, again, taking over the Players' Tribune here, All-Star Weekend, with my man Al Harrington, my man Steven Jack. We call him Stack Jack. Y'all already know. If y'all don't know nothing about it, learn about it, figure it out, Google it, you'll find out. That's your girl. That's something crazy. You don't know nothing about that. Anyway, I want to ask y'all how y'all feeling, what y'all doing these days. It's been just a blessing to, you know, stay active, be around the game, what I love to do, getting after the bag. Mm -hmm. Keeping guard first and staying out of the way. Same thing, man. You know, I'm just trying to build the biggest cannabis, you know, company in the world. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Viola. So that's, that's Viola. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's named after my grandmother. 
you know, it's just amazing, you know, the blessings that I've had, you know, through this through this industry, and we're just gonna keep growing. My heart is crying on the inside. It's tears of joy after I heard uh, what Harrington is doing with the Viola Project. That's just awesome. I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> you over there at ESPN right around? Mm -hmm. Okay. I wanted to ask you, um, what what was the pro why don't they um, show show the guy uh, Little Wayne any love? You know, it's a known fact by a lot of his fans that he's a very very, very big fan of ESPN and everything about ESPN. They kind of don't show them, you know, there's no love over there. You know, there are guys out there that know a little something about what they're talking about. I'm one of those guys. Sorry for such a long question. Oh, no, What's going on? From the inside, it looks like when Skip left and went to Fox, mm. he took Wayne with him. Mm. Shout out and, Skip. And shout out Skip. That's my guy too. But I, I don't know why they don't show you no love. I can attest to him knowing more about basketball and stats more than some people that work for ESPN, and this is a fact. He ran down my stats, where I got drafted, where high school I was from, <laughs> all that down to the T and didn't miss a beat. But we're going to show you some love now that I'm on there. I appreciate gotcha. that. I appreciate you. that. And again, I got my man Stack Jack here. I got my man Al Harrington. This is the Players Tribune. D6.